Some of you guys have spotted what I've done wrong right away. However, if you take a trip to any campground, you're gonna see people setting up their tents just like this. Outside of not putting the rain fly on or staking it down completely, what is it that I did wrong? I was noticing last year when we were going on camping trips, how many people get this wrong? A ground tarp serves two purposes when you're setting it up under a tent. One, to protect the bottom of the tent from sticks, rocks, or anything that may damage the, the bottom of the tent, put a hole in it, or you know, compromise its integrity. That's probably the primary reason most people think that they have a ground tarp. Because I've had a bad experience with this, the most important thing for me is to keep water out of the tent. The, the reason this is set up wrong, it, let me show you instead. What happens is all the water from any rain goes under the tent and is trapped between the tarp and the tent. It seems so obvious here, but so many people kind of do this wrong. You know, they set it up mainly for protection and they forget that it's also a water barrier. You know, it's nice to have a little something here for your shoes and all, but any tent you set up like this, all the water that slides down the side of the tent is gonna go under the tent and be trapped between the tarp and the tent. Seems like a silly thing, but I'm telling you, I, last year, every campground I went to, I paid attention to this and more than half the people in there do it wrong. It, it, it just seems like a dummy mistake after you know, but you don't know until you know. So let me show you exactly how you should set up a ground tarp for any tent. It doesn't matter that the tent has an odd shape to it. We're gonna do the same thing either way. We're gonna take the cover and fold it back up under the tent until there's absolutely no tarp sticking out. Try to go with one fold, make sure it's not bunched up. You wanna make sure you do it all the way around. All four sides, especially your low side. One fold up under the edge. And now when we stake our tent out, the water's not gonna get trapped between it. When water goes down here now, it's gonna hit the ground. I learned this the hard way. It's been a while, but I mean, I set a tent up, put the tarp out, and uh, it was one of our big tents too. It was a family tent, family camping trip quite a while ago. And uh, I put the tarp out and it rained that night unexpectedly but I didn't think there was a problem. Wake up the next morning, the whole floor of the tent is soaked. I realized instantly, this is not, this is not how it should go. See, tents are water resistant. They're not waterproof. Uh, some of them are more water resistant than others. It may seem like they're waterproof, but trust me, you never wanna get water trapped between the tent bottom and the tarp. It's going to get the tent wet. Something like this just seems so silly and so simple, but it's truly the simple, silly things that once you nail down those details, you're gonna have a much better trip. I wanna encourage you, next time you go to a campground, look at how many people have their tarps sticking out from the edge of their tent. If you want a place to sit down and put a mat, that's fine, use a separate tarp for that, and then make sure that there's a gap, a barrier between the, the tarp under the tent and the tarp where you sit down. But don't use the tarp under your tent as a place to sit or put stuff to try to keep it dry. I hope this helps you guys out so you can have some better camping trips in the future. Do me a favor guys, share this video with your camping friends, help them out. Maybe they're setting their tarp up wrong. It's just, it doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing. It's just one of those things that kind of, you know what I mean? So uh, share it with someone that you think could use it. And now when you go to the campground this year, you'll know what you're doing. You're gonna have a much better trip. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, guys, because that helps me grow the channel and get this kind of information out to more people. If you enjoyed this video, please tell me down in the comments what other kinds of videos would you like to see here on Sharp Focus. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the backcountry or maybe the campground.